Welcome to the Mischief, I'm Valen and this is Wares, a bit of a questing mod disguised as a post office. So this mod adds a little bit of world gen as well as just a few items, these five that you see here. There's specifically a delivery table which is going to be a new workstation for villagers. The delivery table is made with four plank types plus feather and an ink sack. Sealed delivery agreement, which is kind of going to be like your little questing papers, uh, something that tells you a quest. Uh, then there's the opened versions of those called delivery agreements, which you can just right click and open and you can view what the quest is, plus how many times you can repeat it here. Basically, if I get eight potatoes, I can get one emerald. Now, this is similar to a lot of like villager trade type style uh, things, but you can customize this and make your own quests out of this. So you can have people fetch quests uh, in multiple different ways. But that aside, there's also cardboard boxes and packages. Cardboard boxes are just made with four paper and you get a couple of them. They are basically unsealed packages. And when you right click with one of them in your hand, you have six slots in here that you can then put ingredients in and you can package it, which then creates a package. And in order to open the package, you'll need to kind of rip it open with your teeth and then you get the contents and the actual cardboard itself is disposed of it's just gone forever and these sealed delivery agreements are not obtained by crafting you actually have to get them through either trades or finding them you can get them from wandering traders you can purchase some of them uh, but on top of that you can also just find them in some of these little uh, areas here. Now, I added the post office sign and the little picture frame at the top. I just thought that was a little bit more immersive. But uh, basically, this type of building should be in many towns. You may even find a few of them in a town. You can change a lot of stuff in the configs as well. And you may find one of these villagers nearby called a packager. This is their workstation, the uh, delivery table uh, that I mentioned moments ago. And you can actually click on it to interact with it. Now in this case I have stuff that was ongoing and you can see we've got 25 out of 144 trades. As it is uh, kind of dark outside there isn't much going on but if I have a cardboard box I can add in here I can have this villager actually make a delivery payout for me. Essentially how this works, let's take this stuff out of here. Let's say I find a sealed delivery agreement, perhaps in a chest in one of these, uh, well, little post offices, uh, or in any of these different little loot boxes. Some of these will be packages, some of them will be regular boxes. You can place them by sneak right-clicking and placing one down in the world. Then you just add more by uh, right-clicking on the block around it or just right clicking on the block rather and then you can add more that way if you miss and you aim at the side obviously you'll place one here but then you can always just break these and pick them back up and as you can see here if I just bust some of these I can get some of the items that were in these packages as well as just some of the empty cardboard boxes if I need something to start with now that being aside you notice that there's nothing on the table here well let's actually get this going if I take a cardboard box Plus, I have a delivery agreement, which in order to open one, you just need to hold right click. And just as before, you'll rip it open with your teeth and then you can right click to view it. Or you can just, wh whether it be in your inventory or not, you can actually right click inside or out of your inventory. And it says here, I have some wares that I believe might interest you. Would you be open for trading your goods for mine? Three emeralds for four raw beefs. Probably not the best deal, but you can do it 160 times. And there's two ways of doing this. You can slap it down here on your uh, delivery table and it's there. On top of that, you can then take the items that you want to trade. If you don't remember, just right click in here and it'll tell you. And then you can put in here, let's see, I want three emeralds to get those stakes. Now this villager, if he's here and it's daytime, they will start processing this for you. If they're not here, then you'll have to do it manually. Let's look at this one here. Delivery agreement with some wheat and emeralds. We're going to put that in there, put some wheat in there. We're going to put some cardboard boxes in there. And you'll notice now it has a button in the middle instead of this autofill that was happening before. So in this case, I've got potatoes and emeralds. Let's put potatoes... I'm going to split half of these boxes from here and there, and this should, whoop, there we go, I'll just trade those out. He'll start automatically doing it, but if I want to do it myself, or this guy isn't around, maybe he's sleeping, and I still want those rewards, I can just click, and it takes three times longer, as you notice there on the button. 
and you can see there is a little bit of a progress bar. You don't actually have to sit around and wait for it. It'll just happen by itself, and it'll be sitting here waiting in the delivery table. But it doesn't keep doing it either. It'll just sit there and wait. So when this guy comes in for his daily shift, then you know that he can finish up the rest of these for you. There we go. I just got three emeralds for some of those wheat. Really great deal. Now, I recommend, uh, and this is my own personal preference, that you just kind of get one of these guys that are associated with this block. Uh, if you have multiples of these in a village, be careful that you don't trap the wrong one <laughs> in place. They just trap them back here because there's already a low enough ceiling, and then they'll stay behind the counter. If you really want to be immersive, then sure, you can have a bed and stuff, and he'll come and go as needed, and you can just leave the contract to get fulfilled as you'd like. But personally, I'm a little bit more immediate satisfaction and uh, have him take care of it so that I don't have to keep clicking a button. And there you have it, a really cute little questing mod that kind of adds a little bit more immersion as well as a little bit of loot uh, and some interest to villages. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more bit by bits like this, please be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, please stop by on Twitch. We stream regularly and we upload those videos to our second YouTube channel, Mischief of Mice 2. Till next time, I'll see ya.